Sakafet YouTube. Today I'm showing you how to make the most delicious fried cabbage. we get started with the recipe i'm actually just gonna set this to one side in here i have some bacon that i just chopped into small pieces and over here i have my smoked sausages okay so all you want to do is to just cut it sideways like so And then for our peppers, I'm just going to go ahead and just slice it. And then slice in half. I've got a clean bowl here. So guys these are the ingredients you will need your cabbage your bacon and sausage some bell peppers and onions as well as some fresh garlic let's get started with combining everything I have my nice cast iron pan here and I'm just going in with my bacon okay you don't really need any oil in this because the bacon is gonna release some fat as it's going okay so just add your bacon and just set your sausage to the side for a minute. Okay, so now that my bacon has released a little bit of oil into my pot, I'm now going in with my sausages. And you just want to cook this so it's nice and brown. So now that my sausages are nicely cooked, as you can see they look nice and brown, I'm just going to go ahead and remove it from my pot, okay? I'm also going to remove the bacon as well. I'm going to be going in with my onions and bell peppers and keep your heat on a low to medium, alright? So 
this is how it's looking after about three four minutes on the lowest heat my onions are looking nice and caramelized as well as my bell peppers and now we need to go in and put a little bit of seasonings to our pot all right so i'm going in with some black pepper as well as some cajun seasoning And you just want to give this a nice toss. Looking gorgeous. And then this is where I like to go in with my cabbage. Okay. And because I'm using a 28 inch skillet, you find I can actually go in with all of my cabbage. I'm just going to top it off with just a little bit of the Cajun season. Okay. So this is where I cover it up for about five minutes. Okay. And let it reduce a bit. Guys, my cabbage has been steaming in the pot for about three minutes so far and I am just giving it a quick little toss. As you can see, my onions are looking nice and caramelized. It's not quite cooked yet. I still need it to reduce just a little bit more. Okay, but before I do, let me just go in with a little bit of garlic powder and a little old bay. Then you just want to cover it again for another five minutes so it can steam. So guys, this is how it is looking. Oh my goodness. And this is cooked down to perfection. See this? Yes. Guys, that looks absolutely amazing. absolutely gorgeous so this is when I'm just gonna go back in with my sausages and my bacon I'm just gonna give it a nice toss guys this is just gonna be so flavorful oh my goodness I'm actually just going to go in for an added touch to put some spring onions in there because guys we're getting ready to wrap up this recipe oh my goodness I'm going to cover it again for another two minutes and it will be done so there you have it, my darlings. My fried cabbage is all ready. And guys, this was an inspired recipe by Raymax Kitchen and Grill. I will leave the link down below to his tutorial. But hey guys, I hope I did it justice. This is actually my first time making this. Guys, and I know definitely it's gonna be a hit because it looks absolutely amazing. So I hope you enjoy the recipe. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the original recipe on Raymax Kitchen and Grill. And I'll definitely see you again in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.